Hi guys, my name is Cahill McFarland and I'm a third year digital business and innovation student here at DCU. So I'm going to be talking about digital business and innovation. Uh, the CEO code is DC241. And yeah, so we're just going to get straight into it. So um, we're currently in a time of rapid change and really the digital aspect is getting accelerated so as you can see here and um, this is in billions so the amount of connected devices is um increasing at an exponential rate so if you can see there in 2010 we've 1.83 connected devices per person and then now we're currently going towards 2025 and um, it's predicted to be 9.27 connected devices per person in the world. So um, as you can see, uh, there's rapid change going on in the digital and technology space. And then why you should choose this course or opportunity. So there are over 90% of the jobs um, require digital skills and only 54% of the adult population in Europe have basic digital skills. And this is according to Europa. 78% of SMEs, so small and medium enterprises, which make up 99% of companies in Europe. Um, in the EU, find it difficult to recruit workers with the right skills in 2023. So this course is a great way to tap into that technology demand and um, that, that need as well, which we'll go more into as well. So here are some of the articles that we look at. So Ireland's not keeping up with pace with the skills needed to fill in demand jobs. And then also Slack announced a radical week long shutdown to basically retrain their staff. So they got the week off and they just went through a, a huge rework of training. So there are some interesting articles and it just shows again the, the need and the demand for the skills that you'll have through doing digital business and innovation as a course. So here again, this is the digital skills gap, which really shows that um, there is a demand for what we're gonna be learning in this degree if you decide to take it on. And I can say for firsthand that, you know, it, it really does fill that gap when you're learning so much about different technologies. Again, I'll go further into that, but for example here, um, in the future, 90% of jobs will require digital skills. Um, arguably, that's uh, very similar to today, and that's only going to increase in importance. And then 54% of the people in the EU age 16 to 74 can actually perform basic um, digital tasks. So you'll be able to form, perform all the, the basic and relevant um, tasks going straight into employment hopefully after final year. And then I'll talk a bit about the entry year that you're gonna take in third year as well. So that was 12 months, but we'll um, go further into that just a moment. So plugging into that digital skills gap, the actual course is um, as a deep focus in the in-demand digital skills. So those are most in, the in demand. So topics such as, as artificial intelligence, cloud computing, uh, coding, you learn a bit of that as well. So there's so many different areas and, and touch points that you get to learn throughout the course. And then it, it's an immersive experience as well. So we have the Condell's Lab um, and it's fantastic for virtual reality. And um, you'll get um, an opportunity to participate in hackathons and other kind of um, entrepreneur focused um, activities. So those are all more towards um, immersive learning and learning while doing, which is a big thing as well. And then we have a deep engagement with industry. So the course is co-created with um, Accenture. So they would have a big uh, impact on what we do. And those guys are a Fortune 500 company. If you don't know them, they're one of the leading um, tech companies in the space and um sorry consulting technology consultancy companies um in the space and then we have cross-cultural virtual collaborations which i'll talk touch on again and then 15 percent online delivery so um it really is um a, a radically new course 
So uh, the, the, as you can see there from Brian Harney, one of our professors, uh, there's 10 new courses in DCU and digital business and innovation is part of the DCU Futures, which is one of those um, new courses as well. So um, as I mentioned before, there's a mixed reality classroom in the DCU Business School and Colin Delves and um, we will be, uh, we use that a couple of times in first year and then continue that into second year. Um, and there's a variety of different things you can do there. Uh, it's co-created with Accenture. We got the fantastic opportunity to actually um, go out to the dock and um, see firsthand what technologies um, they're using there. Uh, the guys at Accenture from industry come in and um, uh, basically take um, their industry knowledge and bring it into the classroom as well. So it's good to hear from guys in the industry and hopefully where you might want to go on in the future if you do um, want to participate in the course. And then uh, Babson College. So Babson College is a college over in the US and it's the world's leading entrepreneurship college. And um, we have engagement um, throughout the course with those guys in, in Babson, which is fantastic as well. And then um, we get exposure to what they're doing as well as a leading, um, a leading college as well. So here's kind of um, the transversal skills route as well in the bottom right here. So critical thinking, leadership, digital data literacy, personal agility, these are all key areas of, of skill that you're going to be able to hone through um, uh, active, uh, all, the, all the modules and all the, all the, the various opportunities throughout the course. And here's a diagram as well. So there are no um, time traditional exams. It's all continuous assessment. So there's more of a focus towards your e-portfolios, virtual collaboration. Um, you will have um, some essays to do. You can do them in your own time. And that kind of allows you to basically think through, go and do your own research and bring back research on what you what do you personally like? And um, there's a lot of choice there as well in terms of what you can um, write about is what you're interested in. And that's that's fantastic as well. So um, we, uh, so my year was the first year of the course. So it's, it's brand new and um, nobody's finished the full course yet. So um, Next year, we'll be the first to finish it. And then you guys will be hopefully coming in then as well and being an elite first mover uh, in the space. So there's huge demand um, for digital skills, as we know before. And uh, we'll have an edge really over everyone else coming into the workforce then once we graduate. And then even in third year when we're going to go for intra placements which I'll touch on again. And here are some of the awards that the, the course has, has won in ter terms of being an innovative and the way it's taught is very innovative as well. So it really is um, a high, held with high regard globally as well. So here are some of the objectives, understand key enabling technologies, their business, economic and social impact practical knowledge and you get the experience applying the digital technologies in a range of contexts um, and innovate, an innovative mindset, um, which is of the utmost, most importance these days with everything moving so fast. Um, it's important to really hone in on the ability to adapt and think critically as well. So uh, that feeds into the next point as well. So the ability to acquire knowledge and skills needed to support digitalization and digital transformation, um, which has taken place all across every industry that we see. A capacity to explore, understand, develop and enhance the basis of personal achievement as well. And those are some of the program objectives. So what do you actually study? Uh, there's a, a wide variety of, of modules and topics that you'll cover everywhere, everything from digital business ecosystems, which um, 
was a first um, and brand new lecture. And you, you'll, you'll see that across the board. A lot of these are future focused, but as well as that, you'll have general, more kind of um, be, be, getting the basis right as well. So you'll have accounting, economics, um, and then data analytics, which is of the utmost importance as well. And then we kind of build on this going into second year with uh, modules like failure and understanding the importance of failure, learning from failures, uh, digital business labs, and you kind of get a, a taste of using technologies there as well. And then throughout three, year, three years, sorry, three academic years, and then there'll be a work placement year as well, which I'll add. And then you'll be doing this transform yourself, self-awareness, transform yourself agility and transform yourself future proof. So these are kind of, uh, a e portfolio that you're going to be creating throughout the throughout the experience of the degree and then that's kind of going to help you build your cv and show employers in the future and basically keep yourself accountable as well throughout the course and then year three which is a full year of work placement so you have a choice there as well to go on 12 months paid internship uh, i'm currently working in kkor and it it's a fantastic experience um, and everyone seems to be enjoying um, working um, for the year and that will prepare you then to go into year four and there's a number of modules there so transform yourself um, continues on and then we've analytics innovation leadership and change and then kind of challenge based projects as well so i'll be looking forward to doing those as well so some of the opportunities that I've got to partake in outside of class as well. So um, I got the opportunity to go to Nantes in France over the summer for entrepreneurship. And I went with one of the guys in the course. And um, that was highlighted to me from one of my professors. And um, as, as an undergrad, I got um, to apply for that opportunity and go abroad to really hone in on entrepreneurship for the summer. As well as that, we we'll, you'll have opportunities to really do a bit of charity work. We did run a charity swap shop um, in aid of the Irish Wildlife Trust. Um, here's another picture of when we had to present to Neil Dover, who's a director at HP, and um, the master students. We got an opportunity to talk to those, and then with um, my internship as well, I've been over to New York. Um, late last year, so I got the opportunity to meet the team over in New York um, with KKR. So that's been fantastic experience as well. And um, I don't know where else you could get that um, level of 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 experience. Really, kind of going and working in a global organization um, has been very rewarding so far. And then um, here's a picture of the the dock um, with Accenture as well. So you'll kind of have these opportunities to network, socialize, travel, and um, do a bit of charity as well outside of class. And the quote, there's three quotients here. So foresight, insight, and action. So this is kind of the flow of the learning curve. So the foresight will involve digital business ecosystems, digital business tools, and analytics. Um, which is really important um, foundation to have. And then we go into insights, so digital business models, digital business labs, and failure. Those are kind of building again into the action phase, which is intra, um, which is that work experience that I kind of touched on there as well. And then challenge-based projects and really kind of putting things into action before we go into um, full-time uh, graduate pro um employment or uh, continuing on in education. So here's the human quotient. So transform yourself, as I know before, you kind of be building this e-portfolio um, of transversal skills through this transform yourself uh, lecture as well. And uh, in terms of careers and uh, potential employment. There are so many different avenues you can go down with this uh, course. So you can go into digital business analyst, be a digital business analyst. You can be a consultant. You can be an entrepreneur. 
you can do technology consultancy, mobile technologies. There's so many different routes. And because you'll have a foundation of a lot of the broad business topics as well, um, like accounting, economics, you would kind of be able to adjust to really uh, work anywhere um, as well. So there's so many opportunities there. And with um, everything being accelerated, those opportunities will only increase. And as the bottom says, many more might not even exist yet. So there are so many opportunities there in terms of some of the bigger companies like Accenture, KKR, Google, and Microsoft, just to name a few. And then in summary, um, digital business innovation. So DBI students will gain a foundation in business and management, uh, an understanding of key enabling, te enabling technologies, their business, economic and social impacts, a hands-on learning experience through a variety of those modules, workshops, um, and there's so many opportunities there uh, as well to kind of go off and do your own thing. Um, like, for example, here in the intro work placement, do you have a choice there to go with um, whatever avenue you want to go down? You interview like a job and um, you go for, for 12 months um, into the workforce and you learn so much from that experience as well. And then um, through uh, the, the course as well, you get a capacity to explore, understand, develop and enhance the basis of personal achievement. So that Transform Yourself module kind of makes you look within yourself as well, um, which, you know, you kind of find things out about yourself, what you're good at, what you're bad at, what you need to improve. And that can help you through your daily life and um, through your academic life as well. And then an innovative mindset um, which can create value through leveraging digital technologies. So with this course, you'll kind of have an understanding of both kind of the digital aspect of, of how things work. And then you'll also kind of have that human aspect. And then with, the, with both, um, it can be very powerful to kind of leverage the digital technologies um, and use them as a tool to basically accelerate processes to enhance what you're doing and then also be able to communicate that to maybe someone who's less literate in data or or coding or even understanding how the technology works that kind of curiosity will come through if you're a digital business and innovative innovation student and then if anyone's worried about uh, coding as well and um, it's a very kind of foundation level it'll get you get you thinking and it's not a coding course it is kind of more tailored towards general technologies, but we will touch on a bit of coding throughout the course and um, foundation levels. And there'll be someone teaching you there um, the entire way. And um, yeah, there is uh, high levels of employability then as well. At the end of it, you'll have 12 months work experience. And then as well as that, you'll have the, a full degree of really learning and putting into practice everything that you're doing in class. You'll have opportunities to present um, in class to your peers, work in, work in groups, work uh, on your own. And it really is um, a, a package put together that is very thoughtful and kind of innovative towards the future uh, and then current times as well. So uh, thank you very much. And if you have any questions, um, feel free to put them in the chat um, and then as well as that you can reach out to the student life um, there and as well as that you can reach out to me on my personal email as well so I see those a few questions came in there so I'm just going to answer those now so Misha said do you get to specialize in an area during your last year such as marketing the way you can with general business core right and um, so we will be specializing in digital business and innovation so i know that the normal business um, degree you kind of do get to specialize but um, this kind of is a bit of a specialism already in terms of digital business and innovation and i know that and um, there's marketing is what you have there in brackets and we cover marketing in second year. So we kind of have a, a level of understanding in marketing. So if you did want to 
kind of get in and uh, in, into marketing, uh, this is another route you could go down. And then in, in third year, you can go on a placement for marketing as well, if that's something you're interested in, want to apply for. And then going into final year, you kind of do have um, that bit of a bit of choice in a lot of the assignments. So you can kind of talk and touch on marketing um, if it's relevant um, to that particular module. And um, yeah, it, it is definitely an alleyway you can go down if um, that's the that's what you are interested in is marketing as well. But even if um, you're not 100% sure, um, like this degree is fantastic for kind of figuring that out as well. Like um, I'm kind of going down the finance route now. And um, even with that, uh, digital technology is really prevalent there. And there's, there's so many different like um, career opportunities or lanes I can go down um, in finance or even pivot back into technology if that was what I wish. Um, but there really is um, so, so much opportunities there um, if you do the course as well. So is a background interest in computer science useful in this course? Yes, um, a background in computer science would be useful. It's not like a requirement or um, but it definitely would would help. Um, you will kind of get a lot of insight into, into computer science as well. So we do OR coding and Python. And we did OR coding, running regression models, which um, sound complicated, but when you break it down and you have someone showing you, um, it kind of it gets, gets easier there and then what were the CEO points for in 2023? I believe it was around 500 points and um, there would be alternate routes you could go down, but um, in terms of PLCs, um, so I wouldn't be discouraged if you don't get the points, but I would definitely aim probably around the 500, 500 mark um, if possible, Evan. Um, and then in terms of the computer science, yeah, it would be would be useful again to kind of have a bit of understanding. And if that is something that you're interested in, in terms of computer science, um, we did have a module in second year where it was all focused on computer science and you really get into it, what you put into it. So if that's something you really want to go down. And um, if you put in the time there, um, you will have just as good an understanding as anyone else coming out of a computer science degree. So if there is no more questions, um, is it maths heavy? Would you struggle if you took ordinary maths in the Leaving Cert? No, it wouldn't be maths heavy. Um, I think that you have to have curiosity to learn. Um, you don't necessarily need ordinary or higher level maths, sorry. Um, there is accounting in it um, in first year, but um, it wouldn't be very heavy. And a lot of things can be done in Excel now as well. So um, like if, if you kind of, uh, it, it may kind of be summing, minor, like taking stuff away and dividing, multiplying, it'd be kind of more of the, the basic stuff. Um, and if, if you can do that, then um, and what you cover in ordinary maths, I think you'll, It'll do okay. And then, Evan, if you want to send me an email as well, I can find out the, the CEO points after as well, just to clarify in terms of, of the points. Um, I think it's it's up on the, the CEO website if you want to check that, but I definitely aim for around 500 um, if, if possible uh, as well. Okay, so I don't think there's any other questions. Um, if you do have any other questions, again, feel free to reach out to me or um, studenthelp at dcu.ie. And uh, thank you very much for coming to this talk. And uh, hopefully I'll be seeing you on campus uh, next year. Um, or if you're not six year, hopefully you're um, uh, getting to decide even more in advance and uh, best of luck in the Leaving Cert exams. I know studying will be coming up as well. So um, best of luck and thanks very much for, for tuning in.